Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh. Welcome to Pakistan School Masjid. I'm your Arabic teacher. And today in this video, we will learn about lesson number two. In lesson number two, you will learn new things related to your household. So before starting, raise your hand for dua. وَبِشْرَحْ لِي صُدْرِي وَيَسِّرْ لِي أَمْرِي وَحْلُ الْأُقْدَدَمْ مِنْ لِسَانِي يَفْقَهُ قَوْلِي وَبِزِدْنِي عِلْمًا وَبِزِدْنِي عِلْمًا وَبِزِدْنِي عِلْمًا بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم الدرس الثاني الدرس الثاني الدرس من لسن ثاني من سكن وردوسرة لسن نمبر تو الدرس الثاني لسن نمبر and the name of the topic is Baitun. Baitun, as you know, we did this, but we have learned this word in the previous unit also. Baitun means house. Baitun means house. Hada Baitun. Again, this is a house. Hazihi Nafizatun. This is a window. So the, this, this is a, there is a new word for you. Nafizatun. Nafizatun. Nafizatun means window. Hada matbahun. Matbahun means kitchen. Hada matbahun. This is a kitchen. Hada babun. Babun means door. Hada babun. This is a door. Arikatun. So arikatun is a new word for you also. Arikatun means sofa. Hazihi arikatun. Now you know that we are adding hazihi instead of haza because this arikatun word is ending with round shape ta. So whenever the word is ending with round shape ta, you will use hazihi, okay? Hazihi arikatun. This is a sofa. Hazihi khizanatun. Khizanatun means cupboard. Or you can say almari, okay? Hazihi khizanatun. This is a cupboard or this is a cabinet. Hazihi gurfatun. Gurfatun means room. Hazihi gurfatun. This is a room. Sarirun. Bed. Hada sarirun. Hada sarirun. This is a bed. Hammamun. Hada hammamun. This is a bedroom. Haza baitun kabirun. Haza means this. Baitun means house. Kabirun means big. So this is a big house. Haza baitun kabirun. This is a big house. Albabu maftuhun. Albabu means door. Maftuhun means open. The door is open. Hazihi gurfatun nazifatun. This room is clean. Gurfatun, you know that this is, we use gurfatun for room in Arabic. And nazifatun means clean. So this room is clean. Fil gurfati kursiyun wa maktabun wa sarirun. So how many things are in the room? Fil gurfati in the room, okay? There is a chair, a maktab mean, you can say table. Vasarirun and a bed. In the room, there is a chair, a table and a bed. Hazihi arikatun jadidatun. Hazihi means this, arikatun, this sofa. Jadidatun means new. This is a new sofa. Uh, this sofa is new. Al-matbahu, 
Vasiun. Almat Pahu mean kitchen, this kitchen is Vasiun mean white or big, okay? So this is a big kitchen. Anafizatu, again the window. Moglatatun, close. The window is closed. The window is closed. Tadribat. Tadribat means exercise, al-fahmu, understanding. So in this lesson, in this exercise, we will learn how to make questions in Arabic. And for, before making the question, the, which word we will use. For example, mahaza. In English, we will say, uh, we will use what is this, okay? So for question, we will use ma, ma, what. Ma haza, what is this? Haza sarirun. So, of course, this is a bed. Ma hazihi. Now, I am using the question hazihi because the answer is related to a feminine, non masculine, okay? The word is ending with round shape ta. Ma hazihi. What is this? Hazihi arikatun. This is a sofa. Hal. Hal, we will use again for uh, a question. Well, hal haza baitu. Is this a house? Hal is. Kya ye house hai? Hal haza baitun. While questioning. And when you will say yes, in and for yes, we will use naam. Naam haza baitun. Yes, this is a house. Hal haza baitun. Is this a house? Naam haza baitun. This is a house. Ma haza. Again, there is a question. What is this? So you have to identify this. Which this picture is belongs to what? I think this is a kitchen. Yes, I am right. So I write here, Haza matbahun. Haza matbahun. So the second question is, Ma hazihi? So hazihi, this is a picture of window. And in Arabic, we will say, uh, we will use the word na piratun for window. So, Ma hazihi. Hazihi nafizatun. So the next one is Hal Hazihi Khizanatun. Is this a cabinet? Yes, it is. So we will write here Naam. You can say give answer only in Naam, or if you want to give the full answer, then you will say Naam Hazihi Khizanatun. Hal Hazihi Khizanatun. Is this a cabinet? Naam hazihi khizanatun. Yes, it is a cabinet. Now, this question, question number two is, there is a little bit change. For example, we use baitun for house, and this is a noun. Okay? But sometimes when we convert a noun to a proper noun, we will use alif lam. Okay? And sometimes, this alif lam is written as in spoken condition also, but in few words, sometimes this alif lam is written, but we will not speak it. And one more thing that when we convert this noun, we the, the on the last but look there is baitun baitun. So we will change this word when we will change it. Uh, we, we will add alif lam. The last word will come without the mean. Without the mean, mean single page will come here. This is baitun, and when when you will you add alif lam, it will become al baitu. Al baitu, not al baitun. It's al baitu. Babun, al babu. Look again, babu. Miftahun, there is double page tanwin, 
but when we will use alif lam, the, the single page will come. Al miftahu nafizatun an nafizatu. So I have told you that sometimes alif lam is written, but we will not speak it. This lam is silent here. So directly there is a tashtis. You will say hamza zabar noon an. Okay. An nafizatu. Maktabun al maktabu. Kursiyun al kursiyu. Khizanatun al khizanatu. Suratun min picture. As suratu. Now we will read the next sentences. Haza baytun kabirun. This is a big house. Al babu maftuhun. The door is open. Hazihi gurfatun nazifatun. This room is clean. Al matbahu wasiun. The kitchen is big, or this is a big kitchen. The window is closed. Now, we will arrange the sentences, okay? And you have to write it in your notebook. There are three words, nazifatun, wurfatun, hazihi. Now, you know the meaning, nazifatun means beautiful, wurfatun means room, and hazihi means this. So, hazihi, wurfatun, nazifatun. First, hazihi will come, then wurfatun, and then nazifatun. The hazihi, wurfatun, nazifatun. Second one is kabirun, haza, baitun. For first of all, we will use haza, baitun, and then kabirun. Haza, Baitun Kabirun. Point number three is Hazihi Arikatun Jadidatun. First Hazihi, then Arikatun Jadidatun. Point number four is Ursiyun Vasarirun Vahizanatun and Wurfati and Fi. There are three words. So, I mean, three statements are there. So, you will join to make a one statement in sequence. Fil wurfati. Fi will come first. Wurfati will, mean, uh, come, will come second. And this whole statement will come in the third. Okay. Fil wurfati. Kursiyun. Vasarirun. Wahizanatun. Fil wurfati. In the room, kursiyun, there is a chair, vasarirun, and a bed, wakhizanatun, and a cabinet. Okay? Min kamre me ek kursi, ek bed, or ek almari hai. I hope you will understand the task. Try to do the practice of this lesson. Stay happy.